Hollow Knight Silk Song. The sequel to the hit indie game Hollow Knight is releasing soon. Now I want to capitalize on Silk Song's release as much as possible. So today I'm making Hollow Knight features in Minecraft. Since this is gonna be a fairly large project, it is important to list down all the information I need. After doing some heavy research about Hollow Knight's various mechanics, I made a list of all the features that are feasible to code and wrote down all the information I needed to know about them. The knight's most important weapon is the nail. The nail at the start of Hollow Knight is really weak. However, you can get Pale Ore and Geo to upgrade your nail from the nailsmith. Unlike Hollow Knight, damage output in Minecraft is shown in tooltips as numbers. But I still wanted the player to be able to upgrade their nail and deal damage similar to Hollow Knight. So I made all the variants of the nail and also the Pale Ore item. To craft the old nail, you'll need Pale Oak Planks, an Iron Ingot, and a stone sword placed in this order. The old nail deals two whole points of damage. I know, horrible. You can upgrade it to a better version by dropping the nail and pale ore on top of an anvil. The sharpened nail deals four damage, the channeled nail deals six damage, the coiled nail deals eight damage, and the pure nail does the highest damage of 10 points. Just like Hollow Knight, if you hit an enemy with the nail, it will give you soul. What is soul you may ask? Well that is a good question my friend. Soul is an arcane force that is generated from mobs and is the substance that animates their bodies. When put to use it can be twisted into spells or even be used to heal damage. In Hollow Knight, soul is represented on the HUD by a circular meter that fills up with white liquid. In the early game, it can hold 99 points of soul but you can collect 3 vessel fragments to form a soul vessel and increase your max soul by 33. You can do this 3 times to double your initial soul count. Soul in Minecraft is shown in the action bar when you hold items that are compatible to use or obtain soul. Here it is directly shown as a number. Hitting an enemy with the nail will give you 11 soul. Vessel fragments are collectible items that allow you to make a soul vessel. In Hollow Knight, three vessel fragments create one vessel, and you can get three vessels, doubling your max soul. In Minecraft, you create fragments with a bowl and soul sand. Obtaining a fragment shows you an animation of a vessel and clears the fragment from the inventory. Spells are special abilities obtainable in various locations of Hollow Knight. Gaining a spell shows a pop up on how to use it, and using a spell requires 33 soul. Just like in Hollow Knight, you immediately gain the focus spell when you load into the world. To focus, you can hold and release right click on the ability wheel while looking directly down. In Hollow Knight, Vengeful Spirit can be obtained from the Snail Shaman in the Ancestral Mound. At its upgrade, Shade Soul is found in the Soul Sanctum obtained from another Snail Shaman. In Minecraft, Vengeful Spirit and its upgrade are craftable spells. You can look in any X direction and fire a spirit that will damage enemies less than 16 blocks away. Vengeful Spirit deals 5 points of damage and Shade Soul deals twice that amount. Now technically there are two other spells in Hollow Knight, but for this datapack I won't be including them. Nail Arts are hidden skills that you can unlock for the knight. These can be learned from the three nail masters Mato, Oro and Shio and allow the knight to use their nail in a special way. For this data pack, I will only make two out of three nail arts. To activate a nail art, you need to hold sneak while holding any nail for 2.5 seconds. Then you release sneak to perform the nail art. The cyclone slash is the signature nail art of nail master Mato. It is a spinning attack that rapidly strikes foes on all sides. It is activated by looking directly up or down when releasing sneak and deals wither damage to enemies around you. The Great Slash is the signature nail art of Nail Master Shio. It unleashes a huge slash directly in front of you which deals extra damage to foes. It is activated by looking in any X direction when releasing sneak 
and slashes enemies in a large area in front of you. There are also various other items such as the Lumafly Lantern, Hallowness Seal, King's Idol and the Arcane Egg. Masks are the health points in Hollow Knight. You start the game with 5 masks and you can increase it up to 9. 4 mask shards when collected create 1 mask. Lifeblood masks are the type of mask that cannot be regenerated by focusing or sitting at a bench. Now there's a bit of a problem. In Hollow Knight, all sources of damage deal 1 or 2 masks. But in Minecraft, you have 10 hearts and you can take any amount of damage. The best way I could blend the two was to consider 2 hearts in Minecraft as 1 mask in Hollow Knight when coding features for the data pack. As a result, with 4 masks, you can increase your total hearts count to 18. Mask shards can be crafted with the following recipe. They act similar to vessel fragments with 4 mask shards completing one single mask. Masks can be easily regained by using the focus ability. The next feature I coded into my data pack was the shade. In Hollow Knight, after you die, you lose all your geo and a void entity called the Shade spawns at your death location. The Shade will attack back when you get too close to it. If you manage to kill the Shade, it will repair your soul meter and give you back the geo you lost. In Minecraft, when you die, you will summon a Shade at your death location. This Shade will store all of your items inside of it. If you manage to kill it, it will drop all of your items in a nice pile on the ground. The shade has 6 points of health, so killing it shouldn't be too difficult. Abilities are skills the knight can find throughout the game that make traversing Hollow Nest easier. In Hollow Knight, you can obtain a total of 8 abilities in the form of special items. However, in this data pack, there will only be 6 abilities. The Mothwing Cloak is obtained from a dead vessel after defeating Hornet in Green Path. It is the first movement ability in the game and allows you to dash in front of you in both directions. In Minecraft, the Mothwing Cloak can be crafted with this recipe and you can double press the forward key to dash. Also, when you dash, it deals 2.75 points of damage. The Shade Cloak is obtained from the Shade Beast found in the Abyss. The Abyss is a very late game area so for the crafting recipe, I included netherite boots. Usually, if you dash into an enemy, it will deal damage. But with Shade Cloak, you can dash through the enemies without taking damage. This becomes especially useful in late game boss fights, where some attacks become near impossible to dodge without Shade Cloak. In my data pack, the Shade Cloak works similar to the Martin Cloak, but you don't take any damage. The Monarch Wings in Hollow Knight are found after defeating the Broken Vessel boss. It is a fairly late game item, so the crafting recipe uses Elytra Wings. The wings allow the player to jump in mid-air by pressing the jump key. I replicated this in Minecraft with the ability for the player to do two consecutive jumps to launch themselves significantly higher into the air. Isma's Tear is a fruit formed from a single hardened tear. Once obtained, it provides protection from the searing acidic pools found in certain parts of Halonest. It belonged to Isma, a deceased great knight of Halonest. It can be found at Isma's corpse in Isma's Grove, a sub-area of the royal waterways, and the supposed origin of the acid in Halonest. The tier is crafted in Minecraft with a turtle shell, gas tier, and moss block. Now you may be thinking, wow! Switch cube, you're so handsome. And how the hell did you add acid immunity to Minecraft when Minecraft has no acid? Well, thank you for the compliment, but I've got bad news for you. I didn't. I didn't add acid to Minecraft. No, I made Isma's tear provide immunity to lava instead. The dream nail is a special nail obtained by the knight in the first dreamer cutscene. It is found in a dream inside the resting grounds and it is a special ability which unlocks the ability to complete the game. In Minecraft, the dream nail is crafted using soul sand, lapis lazuli and an iron sword. In Hollow Knight, if you obtain 900 dream essence, you unlock the dream gate ability. With this ability, 
you can create a warp gate to anywhere in Halo Nest. Looking down while holding the keybind for the dream nail creates a dream gate. While looking up while holding the keybind for the dream nail teleports you to your dream gate. In Minecraft, holding right click on the dream nail item while looking directly downwards creates a dream gate and holding right click on the dream nail item while looking directly upwards teleports you to your dream gate. And those are Hollow Knight features coded in Minecraft. Unfortunately, I had to scrap a few features such as placeable benches, soul totems and all the spells, abilities and nail arts I didn't code. If you'd like to see me code them, hit subscribe and leave a comment. I will release this data pack to the public once the video reaches a like goal of 30. In part 2, I will be coding Hollow Knight charms into Minecraft. Until then, explode! Giant.